Hello my friends, welcome, welcome to this third video of the series about the restoration of the wooden windows. We have already sanded the uh, windows, we've already prepared uh, the glasses before we are going to the paint. If you want to have an overview about these works, don't hesitate to uh, click on the link suggested here. Before we start, some very important information about the weather conditions for proceeding with these works. Let's go. Two important exterior conditions for doing these works. The first one is the temperature. You need to have a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius as indicated on the paint, but of course the warmer the better it is because the paint will be softer and will be better adhering to the wood of the window. And another reason why we, you need a good temperature outside is that while you're doing the works, your window or your windows, if you're doing several of these, will stay open the time that it's uh, uh, drying. So it means that there will be air coming into the house, so in case it's cold, uh, your house will be freezing. The second important weather condition, it is that it's not raining. So here, the duration of the drying is of three hours, just uh, as a uh, first uh, sense of dryness, but the full range of the drying here is 16 hours. So uh, I would say in case you're in a very rainy country like the one I'm living in, um, be at least sure that you have the three hours without any rain. But of course, it's better that it's uh, not raining during the full range of the works. Another hint is that in case you are doing several windows, make sure that you are doing the same step on each of the window. Why? Because uh, as you need to make paint and sanding, and as every time you're doing sanding, you're generating dust, which is very bad for the paint, make sure that you're not painting one window frame at the same moment sanding another one, because the dust of the sanding of the other window will then reach the paint the very sensitive paint of the first window. So uh, that's a little bit of a challenge sometimes, but uh, make sure that you're doing the same steps for each of the windows. For the pencil, I uh, have chosen this type here. This is really good for reaching the corners. And in case I have also ha this one for the larger parts. In principle, I think I will use only this one. Let's see. So this is a new tin of paint, and uh, this is for exterior, it's paint. Uh, it is not a classical wooden protection. Important is to shake it up front. So this is classical. For I need to have the big pot, I'm taking this bottle of water. So now we are ready to attack the paint. Um, so you take your paint closing, you remove your watch, because the likelihood, even if you're very agile, to, don't, to not to make any stain is very low. And for opening, just a screwdriver. Now it's very dangerous. To be honest, I would have liked to put a, a layer below for wood protection, but I don't have time enough for this now. 
because you need a certain temperature for putting the paint, at least 10 degrees, says the, the paint tin. And of course, the first layer will consume quite a lot of paint because the wood is extremely dry below. It's a bit a disaster, but in reality, it's totally normal because the wood had been very dry, so it shrunk all the paint. This year is the day after, so as I said yesterday, it's normal, it's not looking well. And now we need to sand for our first round, and we have to remove the asperities. Like here, you see there are little clusters of dust so that we will be removing now. This year is after, let's say, two days for bad weather conditions and now we have to go to a level of cleanliness of uh, hospitals, so we'll take the vacuum cleaner. You can see here the readiness of the surface. This looks like this. So this is definitely a first coating. Very important, shake the pot for starting. I'm taking the pinceau. So 
So at the beginning, beginning it is quite hard. on your level of agility but I recommend you to start from the top going down towards the bottom because in case there are some drops of paint falling beneath then you will see them and you will be able to get this straight. That's it my friends, this video about the paint is now finished. I can invite you now to join my last video of the series, which is showing you how I did the third layer of paint and also how I removed the tape protecting the glass windows. Uh, and you will see that it's not so easy. So see you in a minute on Happy Hour TV One.